Hello, I'm Jane Elise from KVRX, and we are here today with the Aqua Dolls. <laughs> Would you guys like to introduce yourselves? Yeah, uh, my name is Kayla, and I play bass and I sing in the Aqua Dolls. Hi, I'm Melissa, and I play guitar and I sing in the Aqua Dolls. And I'm Jackie, and I play drums and sing a little bit in the Aqua Dolls. Nice. Okay, so my first question is, what are your zodiac signs? I need to know. <laughs> I'm an October Scorpio, so October 29. Yeah. Uh, I'm the best sign, sorry. <laughs> I'm an Aries, April 12th. I'm crazy. I'm November 29th, and I'm a Sag. Sagittarius. Nice. That's super cool. What's your sign? I am a Virgo. Ooh. I'm a Virgo, Aries moon, Pisces oh. rising. Oh, and I said that to somebody stuff. once, and they were like, mm. <laughs> 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 That's what anyone ever says to me whenever I tell them, like, my sign is rising. They're like, <laughs> everyone's always like, tense. Oh, and I'm like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have a second, I have another question. Okay, so Stoked on You and Wanda were very surf rock, but The Dream and the Deception is more punk, so what inspired that change? Um, well, the two albums were over, like, a lot of periods of time. Like, yeah. Stoked on You came out and was recorded in 2013, and then um, The Dream and the Deception was written between 2013 through 2018, like, oh. literally up until, like, <laughs> a week before I started recording, I was, like, writing new songs. But, I don't know, I kind of wanted to show my love and appreciation for, for different genres of music, and, like, mm -hmm. I still love surf rock, too, but um, I'm v I have a very eclectic taste. I love electronic music, I love punk. Of um, like surf rock garage, like anything really. So I kind of wanted to incorporate different elements of different sounds and just experiment. And yeah, me new. I can see how Ruby Eyes is still very surf rock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my I showed that song to my dad and he was like, "I really like that." I know they're from Southern California. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, Thanks, I also would like to ask which cartoon character did you want to be? Um. When I was little, I thought that you had to collect things. I thought, like, you just had to. <laughs> so I chose Strawberry Shortcake, and that was, like, my <gasps> oh, favorite. My, yeah. I love yeah. And I, I had, like, overalls. Be... I had shoes, like, everything, because I just thought you had to collect something. My mom was like, you have to. So I was like, okay. <laughs> so I just had everything Strawberry Shortcake. Um, but also, when I was little, my mom called me Chucky because I was always mad. <laughs> <laughs> and I was, like, always angry, like, mm. And then I was also always the buttercup in the group because I was always oh, mad, so. Oh, I remember mine now, sorry. I was always ahead. Bubbles. Yeah, that, that's what I was. I was gonna say I was always My friends bubbles. always made me be Bubbles because I'm blonde. I'm like, yeah, I same, I was blonde too. Buttercup, so. but I, I would never be Buttercup. I liked being Bubbles though. Yeah. Yeah, it's just cute. So that would I have be the crab elements of Bubbles. I, I yeah. totally forgot about those two. Strawberry Shortcake and Bubbles, like those were like my girls. Yeah. I'm a Sailor Moon girl though. Oh yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's me in the name of the moon. What other anime do you watch? Oh, okay, um, I liked Kiki. Um, <gasps> Kiki's delivery service. Dude, that was a shit. Yes. Oh, I like Spirited yeah. Away a lot. Like, <gasps> Spirited Away, um, you know, like, God. I don't know like, if you can still sorry, do it, but you know when you, like, order DVDs on Netflix and rent them, like, on the internet? Mm -hmm. My sister and I would rent Spirited Away every single week. <laughs> oh my God. Because so my parents good. didn't want to buy it for us for some reason, so we would just rent it every week until it's they so eventually spooky. bought it for us. It's, like, so creepy. It's such a good movie. My sister loves it. I also love Hi Hi Puffy I Amy. So cute, so underrated. I love that. So, on your inspiration playlist, there are three songs from Josie and the Pussycats, <laughs> which is way ahead of its time, is a classic film, yes. but I would love to hear you talk about it more. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that movie and like soundtrack and everything came out when I was in second grade, and I remember I bought the CD, or my parents bought it for me like at Walmart, and there was this girl who like borrowed the CD and then never gave it back, and I was so pissed <gasps> because it was my favorite movie, and like I've had all those songs memorized mm -hmm. since I was like yeah. a little kid, like... Mm -hmm. They're just so badass and so cool and like yeah, love it. Which yeah. one was your favorite? Um, I don't know. I don't have a favorite. I mean, like they're all like so cool in their own way. You mm -hmm. know, like I don't know. I can like relate to like the brainwashy like aspect of <gasps> yes! like, so the crazy. industry yeah, and like the subliminal messages and stuff. And they're like, so buy a Big Mac. You need orange sketch flip flops and like it's <sighs> so like weird, but like I don't know. It's really cool. <laughs> like the part where the girl's like, uh, I don't like this music, and he's like, Oh, tell me the music you like, and they just like kidnap her, and I was like, <laughs> 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 I, I watched it for the first time with her like at six a.m. We hadn't slept all night, and I was watching it, and I was like, 
what? I was just like, like toting the whole movie, and you're like, yes. shh. And I was like, that's yeah, a good movie. Uh-huh. Yeah. What other movie? What movie or a show can you watch on repeat? The Goonies. I've been. I when I was younger, I would watch The Goonies every day, like on repeat. It was my favorite movie when I was little. Also, Rocky, like Rocky Horror. I used to watch that a lot. And then, Daddy Daycare. I had a phase. I had a phase <laughs> where every day oh for a month I watched Daddy Daycare. I went Daycare. to school with Flash. He was in my third grade class, and he like li- he lived really close to me. And we like That's I would like go like play with him and like. My sister hates Daddy Daycare now. Now I like how much yeah. I used to watch <laughs> it. Rapper, dude. I have it like memorized. Like, I would watch Lion King so every funny. day for like three years when I was little. And Cinderella three. That was my like my favorite. mom hated it so much <laughs> and like. I would always be like, Lion King! And like, if there was no Lion King, I'd get really upset. I don't know. Oh I've also, like, I've seen Clueless like a bazillion times. That's a good one. It is. Yeah. Or Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yes. Oh, Carrie. Yeah, that's a good one. I think I've I watched know. recently, I've been watching, like, I've watched, I think, four times now is The Birdcage with Robin Williams. Mm-hmm. It's literally, it's so funny. It's so freaking funny, but it makes me just, like, miss him so much. I love yeah. Robin Williams. Yeah. But that one, I, I watch all the time. I love it. So, what's one thing that you look for in each city when you go on tour? Um, so, Jackie and I have this thing called uh, Taster, Twister, Taster Time. <laughs> where, <laughs> where we find vegan food in the area and then film us eating it. Uh-huh. We've done that for every single city so far. Um, so, I'm looking forward it's, to yeah, that. It's great. It's so fun. <laughs> yeah. That's great. So Austin, you said earlier you like to compare each city to a city in California. What city is Austin? Petaluma, California. Petaluma. <laughs> Can you describe like Petaluma to me? Because someone who has never been to California. Um, a lot of trees, suburb, and then every house you see, you're just like, someone died there. <laughs> That's someone such died a there. good description. <laughs> like D- D- Dorothea Putnam in Sacramento, like she lived right in Petaluma, like. Mm-hmm. That's what I expect. Like, every, like, cute little old woman, I'm like, you're murdering people. And I know it. (laughs) (laughs) That's such a funny description. (laughs) That's so... That's interesting. Okay, so your username on Twitter, I mean, not Twitter, Instagram, is Slut for Shakespeare. (laughs) So, what Shakespeare play is your favorite? Um, the favorite one, I... I like A Winter's Tale a lot. Um, and I like Titus Andronicus. Those were the two. I went to these, like, festivals... Um, drama fest like competitions mm-hmm. and there was a Shakespeare festival every year and yeah. every year I would watch a new school do Titus Andronicus and I begged my drama teacher and she was like so cool. that's his bloodiest play there's so much death in it no you're doing a winter's tale and I was so pissed and then I ended up <laughs> loving it so much that's but so I just remember cool. like crying because there's a part where the character that I played like I forgot her name but <laughs> she like, comes back to life or whatever sorry for everyone who hasn't read it um <laughs> And she comes back to life, and I, I guess it wasn't breathing right, coming to life right. She was like, ah, and I was like, <laughs> I was like sobbing because I couldn't do it right. But yeah, I was like really into Shakespeare in high school, and for a while I wanted to be a Shakespeare historian, but then I was too lazy to look up how to do it, so I said, <laughs> now I'm a musician. So that's an interesting question. What would you be doing if you weren't a musician? Oh, I'd be a sign language interpreter, cool. or maybe a Shakespeare historian. Who knows? <laughs> Honestly, I. I don't know. Um, I would probably want to be maybe a screenwriter and do my own horror movie. I really want to write and direct and star in my own horror film someday. Like Rob Zombie? What kind? Mm-hmm. Um, like, just like some gore, slasher, but also psychological. Mm. Yeah. That's so cool. I want to be in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can I be in it? Yeah. I'm yeah. just yeah. You could murder me. Yeah. Oh, sick. Who's yeah, gonna die with the boobs out? <laughs> Am I allowed to the say that? The slut always dies first. So. I mean... I have a theory that a scary movie will not be good unless there's one, at least one topless scene. It just won't. It's like, gonna be weird. It's like in Jason Takes Manhattan where the entire movie was crap, but like the girl who dies <laughs> naked, you're just like... <laughs> <laughs> like, she was a really good actress. And yeah, you're just like, job. wow, like, her boobs are perfectly still. <laughs> She's like running and they're just like... <laughs> Interesting. Sorry, Sorry. Interesting. So, what are your favorite scary movies? Uh, well, I like um, The Shining. Times of Chainsaw Massacre. That's, that's I already like said scary, that. Right? Yeah, know. The Shining's I good. See that? Scary. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a horror movie. Right. Um, there's a lot. Uh, they've seen my room. It's just a lot of Halloween. Um, nice. But my favorite is, or my favorite horror movie is Carrie. But my favorite slasher is Child's Play because when I was little, I was Chucky, and I just love that dude. He's my little baby. But yeah, it's Halloween 24-7 in my house. 
I have a six foot Michael Myers. Um, I have posters, I have masks. Um, I have a lot of stuff. You guys should come over sometime and come to California. So what are your Halloween costumes for this year? Can we know? <sighs> I'm I'm not prepared. I kind of like be Ozzy Osbourne. <gasps> yes, you yes. should do that. Or Elton John. Yes. <laughs> um, or that was it. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Uh, we're like doing oh. like we're doing like this is like Rocktober and like mm. last year we did like a Rocktober tour. We had costumes for every Each show, single show. A different costume. And it was so stressful and like we could like, so like, 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 <laughs> couldn't wear the same thing like twice. Like mm. it was like no. And like even on Halloween it was something different. And I was like. 10 things for Halloween last year, and now I like literally don't know what to be. Like, I kind of want to be Deb from Wild Thornberry, so that'd be cute. But yeah. she has like an orange tube top. I don't have an orange I tube have top. one. You can have it. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> I, mean, I guess I'm gonna be that. And then I just like on tour, I packed like literally <laughs> five <laughs> pairs of cat ears. So, like, I don't know. I've just been like rocking the kitty ears. So, because of Josie, they're the cute. Pussy cats. I like them. There we go. <laughs> I just remembered, um, my boyfriend and I are going to be the twins from The Shining, and I'm going to make him wear a dress and a oh, wig, yeah. but also, um, I want to be Gene Simmons and have him be Ace Freely. That I just want to be, like, the members of KISS. I think that'd be fun. That's, That's really cool. cute. Maybe you should all get in on that, because there's four We can all there. be members of KISS. Uh, yeah. That'd be hot. I'll do everyone's makeup. Fun. Who has a hairy chest? Maybe I'll be posted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just draw a little circle, just like a squiggly hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> like trying to stay focused, but I like am enjoying this way we're too much. We're a serious band. Yeah, yeah serious. We're there's no laughing. Yeah. Yeah. So how was your set today at ACL? Was it was. It, it was very. We had good. It was very it was good. fun. It was great. Yeah, it was, we had a good time. Hot. It was very sweaty, and it was good. And the crowd was really sweet, and it was really like cool to get to play such a big stage with huge artists that the, like the really crew was to. super nice. Oh my god, like, yeah, so some people were helping. so nice. The they were like helpful. the sweetest people. Yeah. yeah, the crowd was super cool. Yeah, the crowd. It was, was hot. Cool. I smelled like sunscreen. I still smell like sunscreen. <laughs> yeah, but too. like, I was just like sweating, and all I could smell was like sunscreen. I, I was just like, see like dripping. I just see like drops of like water coming out. Yeah, my god, I was like raining. I was like six feet high. So like. And there was like so I was like I'm peeing myself and I was actually like, raining at one point. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of you guys playing live, I cannot wait to watch your in studio. It should be happening very soon. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming. Enjoyed you guys so much. Oh my god, that was such a smooth fan. ending. I know. Look I'm at like, me. I'm a professional. <laughs> Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you so much Thank for being here. Thank you. Thank you.